Last week we talked about a financial situation with Jesus, and in that case it was where he cleared the temple. Those that were selling, that were exchanging money, cleared them out of the temple. This week it's a different financial situation I want to look at, and it's not one that Jesus initiated, it's one that's initiated to trap him. The Pharisees, and this time the Herodians, come to present a question to him. Now, they were an interesting, I don't know, pair in this sense. They both were for some Jewish rule. The Pharisees wanted to kick the Romans out. They wanted the Romans gone. They wanted Israel back to its glory days. The Herodians wanted something similar, but they wanted that kind of under the umbrella, under the protection of the Roman government. So, though they wanted Jewish rule, these two political slash religious groups had some differences. But they come together to approach Jesus. And the topic is paying taxes. See, why they came together was they had him. If Jesus said, yes, you need to pay taxes, then the Pharisees would discredit him among the people. See, he's for the Romans. On the other hand, if he said, no, you don't have to, the Herodians would go to the Romans and say, hey, he is an insurrectionist. He is saying not to pay taxes to Caesar. And so he would be arrested. So see, they figured they had him either way. So these two political groups come together with different motives, both the same purpose of trapping Jesus. And you may be aware of Jesus' response to all of this, but I, I want to read it because I love it here. It's in Mark chapter 12. I'm going to start reading about partway through verse 15. It says, But Jesus knew their hypocrisy. Why are you trying to trap me, he asked. Bring me a denarius and let me look at it. <clears throat> they brought the coin, and he asked him, Whose portrait is on this, and whose inscription? Caesar's, they replied. Then Jesus said to them, Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God. And they were amazed at him. It's one of those gotcha moments. We love these when they confront Jesus, and he's got them. They try to trap him, and he just walks right past it. Uh, we love those. But that's not really what this is all about. I don't think Jesus is about gotcha moments. Uh, another way that we look at this, and, and the way it is, 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 is paying taxes is one thing. Walk with God is another, and two are separate. And we kind of leave it there. I want to take a little closer look at this. Not the tang, paying taxes to Caesar part, but the God part. What is God? Well, my money is God's. My home is God's. My car is God's. My possessions, my very life, they all belong to God. See, we focus on the tricking here. God, they were trying to trick Jesus, and Jesus didn't fall for the trap. But Jesus takes this much deeper to our lives belong to God. Not, not just an hour or two on Sunday morning. Not just an added Bible study here or there, or maybe a small group, but everything we do belongs to God. It's our service to God. It's that others may know of His love. Whether we're at a ball game, whether we're at work, whether we're hanging out with friends, whether we're with neighbors, our goal is for people to know of God's love. Secondarily, it's for those that do know God, for them to be encouraged and built up by our presence. See, we're not in this world. We don't walk through this world to make money, to advance self, or to advance career. We walk through this world to advance God's kingdom. I want you to stop and think this week, Quinn. Maybe you're paying a bill. You, you get your credit card statement, you, you're paying something, and you're using cash, or you're just looking at financial transactions. Stop and think about the cash. What is written on it? In God we trust. Let's do that. Let's trust God. Give Him what is His. That's you. That's your very being, yourself, your life. It all belongs to God. Let's stop partitioning our life into pieces and give God some of it and keep the rest for ourselves. Let's give it all to God, the one who sent His Son that saved us on that cross. Trust in God.